This is a quick walkthrough on the John Deere R series with the carbon fiber boom, the new carbon fiber boom for CN spray. Um, this machine has CN spray on it, um, but whether or not you want to run easy drops and CN spray at the same time is up to you. Uh, so starting from center, this is center. No drop down center on 30 inch rows. Going to be 30 inches over. These are 15 inch nozzle bodies. So you're 15, 30. First drop is at 30 inches. That one's really straightforward. Two and a half inch peg mount, direct mounted on the bumper. 15, 30, 45, 60, right under here. So this is gonna be a sub boom. And there's only two spots for the wet boom mounts under here. Hopefully we can see pretty decent. And so we're just removing those bolts from the wet boom mount. And then using our C-channel receiver, putting them back on. Um, it's a good idea for this scenario here where you do have the 65 inch sub boom. You always want to tighten, get everything kind of loosely in place. Do not tighten your receivers up. Tighten these up once everything's in place, get these snugged up tight so that this is square with this, that is square with the sub boom. And then move these around, they're slotted. Square these to the extension tube so that when you take them on and off, they're not sprung, they're not, you're not gonna fight them and wrestle them on and off. Um, if you did make a mistake and did that, and when you, you know, when you take them off, they're hard to get on or off, just loosen these up and square them back, and then everything should come on and off pretty easily. So that's position two and three. Position four is the same mount. So we're mounting right here on below the wet boom mount. C-channel receiver. This is a nine by 18, 18 out, nine over. And just lining it up, eyeballing it with your nozzle body is good enough. It is going to follow the row. This right here is gonna be five and six, and this is right over the front steer tire. So on this one, for sure, start out in the furthest out position on this 26 inch extension. Um, same thing as two and three, um, just a little bit different positioning, obviously, but same concept. Tighten these up first, then get your receivers tightened up. Position seven is the same receiver. This is a nine by 13, nine out, 13 over. And then the peg mount on this one is facing forward, just like all the rest, everything lines up. And then now on the secondary, we're gonna switch sides. If you put it on this side, you're gonna have a really bad day because that side gets sandwiched with the primary. So we're switching sides, going under. Here, we're gonna switch receivers. So we've got these 90 degree orientation receivers here. Um, and then we are just nine by 18 in order to get out to the correct position. You can line up with your nozzle body mount right here. And then the next position is, that was eight, this is nine. Nine is identical, same thing. If you can manage to get this peg mount the same distance from the end, it'll be a uniform part that you don't have to keep track of for which one's nine and which one's 10 and which one's left and which one's right. So if you measure from here to here, get these all the same and then just adjust where you're actually mounting. Another method is to actually just mount this peg mount all the way in the end and then just put your receiver wherever it will be, okay? That way they're all uniform, you can put them anywhere, you don't have to keep track. Um, this is eight, nine, this is position 10. So this is position 10, all of the rest going out are gonna be the same, and these are removable pegs. So the idea here, not that you're gonna be wanting to smash your carbon fiber boom into tree limbs or anything, um, these should be cut off when they come in from the factory, from us, I should say, we're not really a factory, but these should be cut off. Um, and if they're not cut off, then I apologize, but you'll have to just quick cut those off so that the, the drop, you can see this one I cut off already because the spring hits. So since we're just stripping this back off, it's just a, at a dealership. I didn't want to waste the U-bolts. I guess I'm just that cheap. But then that is removal. So the intent is that we take that on and off. So when you are not out dropping nitrogen, this comes off. When you are dropping nitrogen, put that guy back on. And then the last two positions are identical to that.